What's happening folks? Welcome back to Celtic Fans TV. It's time for your Twitter reactions to Celtic 1, Rangers 1 here at Celtic Park. Fair to say that was a stressful 90 minutes. A lot of responses to get through today. We'll start with Brian. The main thing was not to lose. Some players seemed like they were running on empty as the midfield was very slow. Rangers knew they had to go for it as the league was nearly gone. And for us, it was a case of do we go forward or hold on to what we've got? It was risky, but no damage done. Aye, today I think... As I say, it's just a stressful night. It's one of the most stressful games I've ever sat through here at Celtic Park. Um, again, a cagey start, maybe similar to the semi-final, and there wasn't much in it. But Rangers seemed like they were maybe slightly in the ascendancy, and then we get the goal. And for that 15-20 minute period after the goal, we were much the better team, and we should have killed it with a couple of the chances that we had. Um, the, the second half is a totally different football match. Um, I thought we were a bit slow in midfield. I agree with that. Not close enough to Rangers in the second half at all. The subs coming into the game, I think, helped us and then we dropped out of it again. And we're almost clinging on at the end. Um, it was <laughs> it was a dodgy, dodgy game. Um, the main thing is, we got a point and that was good for us. Um, Rangers had to win it. They didn't. They missed the chances just like we did in the first half. Um, and we shared the spoils and we stay six points clear. Patrick Murphy thought we looked intent on losing that game in the second half. It was very poor. And again, we gassed out improvements needed on the fitness side of things despite all that we are going to win the title which is remarkable let's hope we strengthen with that Champions League money I, I as I, I agree with that I think we did gas out in the second half um, Hatati even in the first half um, I don't know if it's tiredness or like real lack of pace for Hatati because sometimes when tracking back people like Lundstrom who is not lightning quick he seems to be lagging behind them so I don't know if that is just a symptom of tiredness or it's a wider problem that he's just not very quick. Um, but I think you need legs to get about in that Celtic midfield. And he did tire um, in the second half. He had to come off. I think across the pitch, as I say, we just didn't get close enough to Rangers in that second half. Um, they missed a number of chances. Hart made a really good save. I haven't seen the goal back. A couple of people may be thinking Hart could have been at fault for it. It is near post. It's sometimes not as simple as that for goalkeepers, though. Um, as I say, we held on. We did have one or two chances in the second half as well. A few entries into Rangers' box where the last touch just didn't come off for us. Maeda has a great chance at 1-0. He blazes over. So it was quite end-to-end -end the game. Um, it swung both ways. And we could have lost it in the end, but had we took those chances in the first half, we could have won it. Um, and I think we're grateful. We're grateful to come away with a draw. Still be six points clear. Three games to play. Hearts here next week. Um, and a massive chance to win it. Craig Salisbury started poorly, had a good period after 20 minutes and could have been two or three in front. Um, should have got an another at the beginning of the second half, but then Rangers got belief as we didn't finish them. Then we were just crapping all their luck. Uh, didn't do enough of what we're good at. And I think I, that's true in the second half. We didn't do enough of what we're good at. I think on the ball we could have been much better at times, but also the positioning we, were, we turned over the ball was really, really poor. Um, Rangers seemed to be getting in down the left-hand side a lot. I think when Ralston got booked, made it really, really difficult for us. Um, I just think even building out for the back in the second half, we were really, really nervy. The crowd was nervy all day. There's a lot riding in the game, but really didn't help us at times. And there was a few really dodgy moments at the back. Um, Starfelt, who, albeit I think was pretty good today, had two really drastically bad passes that put us in trouble. Um, Hart had a couple of heart stop moments as well. It was just a stress for, for start to finish in that second half. Uh, Kevin McLaughlin, fine margins, 2-0 where they killed the game off. Too many missed chances. I thought he was really poor. Again, I think he needs rested and Kyogo is still finding the sharpness. In hindsight, Yakimakis could have started. It's, it's a tough one. Hindsight is a wonderful thing. I, I don't necessarily disagree that Yakimakis should have started. I think either of them could have done. Kyogo did. Um, I don't think he was he was really poor, Kyogo. Um, Yakimakis was needed at that time in the game. He did help us to get up the pitch. He maybe didn't. We maybe didn't use that option often enough. I know a lot of people in the crowd thought we were taking chances playing out of the back, but that is the way we play. It's, it's what the manager wants us to do. The players are under that instruction. But we did have the option uh, to play it into Jackie Marcus in the second half, and we maybe didn't do it as often as we should have done. Uh, Hoops Lad 67, a draw suits us more than the name, obviously, but that was a hard watch, particularly the second half. Uh, why is it we get nervy and go off the boil against them? Not good for the nerves, but still, we should go on and win the league. Uh, that wasn't a fun afternoon, though. We must do better. Aye. I think in a wider context of this fixture, um, after beating Rangers 3-0 here at Celtic Park in February, we thought it was going to go back to being a canter again. Um, the semi-final was really difficult. They've played us twice after uh, European games on Thursday nights. 
and they've been better than we thought we were, they were going to be. Um, they're a decent side. That you, you can't deny that for, for all the rivalries so bitter. They're a decent side, and I think these games are going to be really, really tight. That's what we've seen in the last couple. That's two wins apiece and a draw this season. Um, there's not a great deal between the teams, it doesn't look like. Um, for us, we, we should have uh, maybe started the game a bit better, and then that would have allowed us to play our football a bit more, but Rangers didn't let us do that. Um, it was a tough game, it was tight, but there is, the end result um, is a decent one for us. We'll uh, finish with Peter McNamee, very nervy performance, Starfelt was superb, league should be in the bag, uh, but it would have been good to beat them at home. Aye, listen, we all wanted to see a Celtic victory today and, and all but wrap up the title and party at the end. Um, maybe still a wee bit of that at the end, to be fair, because the nature of how we clung on at the end and the fact that a point is a really good result for us, six points clear with three games to play. But aye, it wasn't the day that we all hoped for um, and that stress in the second half. I think certainly for me, um, the stress in the second half has maybe took the shine off the situation we're in. The team have done brilliant this season. We're in a great position. We just need to go on and hammer it home and finish it now um, against Hearts here next week. And then maybe the formality of a point against Dundee United to mathematically seal it, but we're still there. We're almost over the line. That's it for Twitter reactions. Like this video, comment with your own thoughts on the game below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.